Darwin destroyed the argument from design, at least as far as biology is concerned. It isn't the standard rebuttal to that that God created Darwin and he could have created this whole evolutionary illusion that you were uh, talking about? Not that God created Darwin, way. but you mean God, God created the, 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 the conditions in which evolution happened. Yeah. And Darwin. Well, ultimately Darwin. I mean, ultimately. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a very satisfying explanation. It's a very unparsimonious, very uneconomical explanation. Uh, the, the beauty of the Darwinian explanation itself is that it's exceedingly powerful. It's a very simple principle, and using this one simple principle, you can bootstrap your way up from essentially nothing oh. up to the world of complexity and diversity we have today. Now, that's a powerful explanation. It, it, it's not any simpler. In fact, it's more complex than the uh, than Genesis. I mean, and God created the heavens and the earth. You have that, to that, be that, joking. Uh, well, I mean, God created the heavens and the earth. I can say that pretty quickly. You can I mean, say it, but yeah. think what lies behind it. What lies behind it is a complicated, intelligent being, God, who must have come from somewhere. You have simply smuggled in at the beginning of your book the very thing that we're trying to explain. What we're trying to explain is where organized complexity and intelligence came from. We have now got an explanation.